Where do you wish me to send the package, sir? Send it to the chateau, Julius. Yes, sir, I'll send it right away. My dear wife, I have just purchased a charming sewing box which I am sending you. It's for Sophie. But don't give it to her yet. Let it serve as a reward for one week of good behaviour. Uh, he sent for me, Mama? Yes, Sophie. Look at the lovely sewing box your father sent. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, look, it's wonderful. And it's got everything inside. Each item has its place, you see. Look at the pretty scissors and the thimble too. And the little knife, do you see it? Yes, Sophie, I can see it. And the thread, all different colours. Silk thread too. Oh, and beautiful ribbons. Oh, Mama, it must be for me. I'm not quite sure. But I'm certain it's for me. You're certain then, are you? Oh, Mama, please say that it's for me. A little patience, Sophie. You're always in such a hurry. First, you must learn to deserve things. Besides, you're much too disorganized. Your things are always messy. You lose one thing after another. Mama, I promise you I'll always be very careful. You're too young. You don't know how to sew yet. But I do, Mama, really. I'm a big girl now. I'm learning how to embroider. And I like it. You do, do you? Then why is it you complain whenever I ask you to sew? It's, um, because I haven't got the things I need for sewing. If I had the box, I swear I would sew all the time. And I would do it with pleasure. Well, in that case, try to sew with pleasure without the box and earn the right to have one. Oh, Mama, please, I beg you. Sophie, I said no. That's enough now. But, Mama. Sophie, not another word on the subject, you hear? Take your doll and both of you go upstairs. Miss Albion is waiting for you. Go on, up. If I were king, said John to Peter, if I were king, I would do one thing. I would have a horse which would never sleep to watch over my cows and my sheep. Oh, that lovely sewing box. If I were king. That was very, very good, Paul. Now, Sophie, it's your turn. What's more, I've been a good girl. Sophie! Huh? We're waiting. If I... One of the things I would do... If I... Were king... I would do one thing. I, uh... Would do one thing. I would, um... You haven't paid the slightest attention today, and so you will copy all these verses for tomorrow's lesson. And don't forget to write neatly. Good day. Um. If you had been able to recite the verses, you wouldn't have to write them out. You could have whispered louder so that I could hear you. Oh, pardon me for not shouting at the top of my lungs. Miss Albion would have loved that. I don't care what she says. I won't do it. And I won't learn them by heart either. Do as you like, but it's not hard at all. I only read them once and I knew them by heart. Nothing is difficult for you because you're so perfect. And nothing is ever simple for you because you're so lazy. <sighs> I am not lazy. I was just thinking about something else. A little blue box, hey? with a gold thimble, a tiny little scissors, and an adorable knife. Yes, besides, what's wrong with wanting lovely things? I want that sewing box. I deserve it, don't I? You're not only lazy, but you're envious too. That's right, my cousin is lazy and envious. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll miss you for that. <laughs> <laughs> You hear? I don't want to see you ever again. Neither do I, my impossible cousin. Mm. <laughs>
I've just planted some new flower beds. I'd like you to see them. Why, yes, with pleasure. Camille and Madeleine said you have a lovely new doll. You must be my little daughter. Yes, she is lovely and very well behaved too. Come, we'll wake her up. <laughs> hands are clean. And now show me your nails and your ears. Look at you, you didn't choose any soap and just the day when Elizabeth comes to visit us. Oh Sophie, look, her dress has a hole in it. Don't worry, I'll fix it up for you Sophie. You see, your dress has a hole in it and I can't even sew it. Of course, if I had that wonderful sewing box. Oh, oh isn't that Sophie a darling little oh, girl? Oh, yes, she's absolutely charming. So want something so much and not be able to have it. But now I really need it. I've got to sew up my dolly's dress. all of them and this pretty lace when mama sees how well i sewed the dress she'll be so happy she's bound to give me the box madame luche huh madame luche wait a moment what is it lambert madame would like the flowers in the dining room if that's what madame wants And this silk thread. I like everything, especially this pink. It's beautiful. There are so many wonderful things. What a good idea Father had. Anyway, I'm sure he was thinking of me when he bought it. What are you doing, Elizabeth? Be careful. You're going to burn yourself. No, I won't, Lucy. I'm good at ironing and I've got to iron this dress. Give it to me. I'll do it at the same time as I do Sophie's clothing. No, I want to do it myself. Elizabeth, I forbid you to touch that iron. It's far too dangerous. Isn't Sophie with you? 
Uh, no. But she was here a moment ago. And now, a needle and some thread. <laughs> Nothing. What about you? Oh. Uh, it was silly to fight the way we did, and, well, it was my fault. I got a letter this morning from my father. My parents can't come back to see me this month. My and... poor little cousin. Your parents visit you less and less often. It's not fair. And then I make you unhappy too, and I really love you. I'm not angry anymore. Honest, I'm not. In fact, I can never be angry with you. Mama says I get carried away too easily. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly do. Your mother is right. Huh? Hmm? But I know that you love me. Come and play with us, Paul. I left my doll in the bath. Now listen to me. I told you not to touch the iron. And I want to. You're naughty, Lucy. Let me go. Oh! Ah! Oh, Lucy! My poor Lucy. There, this will make it feel better. How could you, Elizabeth? Oh, please forgive me, Lucy. I didn't mean to hurt you. Honestly, I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, Elizabeth, please. don't worry. Stop crying and let me see the burn on your arm. Please, Lucy, don't tell her mother or Elizabeth will get a scolding. Don't worry, Sophie, I won't say a word. Oh, thank you. There, it's all over. And now, suppose you look after your doll before she catches cold. Poor baby, I almost forgot her. Let me help. Oh! Her face has no colour. Oh, the poor thing! She's so pale. You left soap on her cheeks, no wonder. Your mother was right when she said you were messy. Hey, my little Sophie. You don't know anything. She just needs a little exercise. That's the only reason she's pale. Mm. She's all better now. Let's give her some fresh air. Martha, we'll have tea in the sitting room. Yes, madam. Come, I want to show you a lovely sewing box my husband sent from Paris. Well done, wonderful. <laughs> <Stop>. Hiya, hiya. <laughs> Yes. Why, it's absolutely beautiful. Wait until you see what's inside. It has everything necessary for sewing. It's very complete. Oh! She's flying! And now a full circle. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be touching in the clouds if she goes any higher. Ready? Ready. Go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not a very graceful landing, was it? No. You poor little dolly. You've had a terrible hard day today. That was quite a fall, wasn't it? Oh! Look, you've crippled my dolly. It's your fault. You said we should push her harder. But I didn't push her any harder than you did. Oh! oh. Uh, that's enough. Oh! Oh! oh. Stop, Stop it! it. this instant, uh -huh. both of you. Come with me, Sophie. Your mother wants you. Did she tell you why, Lucy? No. A short while ago, this box contained everything necessary for sewing. It was as full as it is beautiful. Does anyone know where its contents are now? No. No. No, madam. I see. Sophie? Sophie, where are you? Sophie? Here I am, Mama. 
Come here, Sophie. Where did you put the items that were in the box? But I didn't take anything, Mama, really. But, Auntie, Sophie's not a thief. Are you certain of that? Her attitude alone makes me think she's guilty. I'm not guilty, I... I think you are, and don't lie to me. But I didn't do it, Mama, I assure you. In that case, you will go up to your room immediately and we shall all follow you. Sophie, I know it wasn't you. Sophie, not only did you steal, young lady, but you lied as well. And I dislike lying most of all. Lying but I had a good reason, Mama. I thought you'd be proud too. Proud? That you lied and disobeyed your mother? You're not an infant any longer, and you mustn't behave like one. What did you hope to gain anyway? I wanted to mend my dolly's dress myself. You might have asked me just for the things you needed. I'm sorry, Mama. Really, I am. I shall never do it again, ever, I promise. Elizabeth, who did that to you? <laughs> Sophie, why can't you stay out of mischief? Sophie had nothing to do with it. I disobeyed Lucy and burnt myself and... Paul, Lucy, tell them. It's true, Auntie. Elizabeth is telling the truth, Madam. Sophie didn't want her to be scolded. At least you think of others from time to time. And now, let's leave Sophie in her room. Come, Paul. <laughs> Goodbye. See you soon. Goodbye. May I go and see Sophie now, Auntie? Bring her down. <laughs> Sophie! Sophie! Sophie, come down. Your mother wants to see you. the sewing box your father sent. My dear wife, I have just purchased a charming sewing box which I'm sending you. It's for Sophie. <gasps> oh. But do not give it to her yet. Let it serve as a reward for one week of good behavior. It is a lovely gift and I want to be certain she earns it. You may give it to her when you see fit. She should be able to create some lovely things. Sophie! <laughs> down, Sophie. You make yourself unhappy. If only you had more patience. You can't always have things the moment you want them. But why didn't you say anything? If you had let me speak, I would have. You have a bad habit of interrupting. But, Mama, how was I supposed to know? 
Sophie, you must learn to think things over. And to listen. When you behave like a big girl, you will have all the presents you deserve. Yes, Mother. Your father wanted you to have the box, but he never imagined you would be so impatient. Oh, Mama, if you knew how sorry I am. Think about what I've said. I want to be certain that you truly understand this time. Well, young lady, did you think it over? Yes, Mama. Mama, what are you doing? I'm making a coat for someone's little doll. Oh, is it? Uh, for... Um, I would like to help you with it. In that case, you can finish embroidering these. All right? <laughs> oh, thank you for letting me help. She's a lucky dolly to have such beautiful clothing, and so is her owner. Very lucky, considering all the mischief her owner gets into. <laughs> I know one little girl who's learnt an important lesson. From now on, Dolly, you are going to be more patient. <laughs>